Hello everyone and welcome to today's three o'clock story time. Today I'm going to read you a book which is called A New House for Mouse. And the author is Petter Horacek. Now what I'd like you to think about while I'm reading this story is what gem power is Mouse using? Hmm. He's showing very strong use of one of them and it's something that we've been learning about at school. So I'll let you have a think about that and really hope you enjoy the story. A New House for Mouse by Petter Horacek One day a little mouse looked out of the tiny hole where she lived and saw a huge apple. Goodness me, said little mouse, I would like that apple to eat. I must bring it inside. But although she tried and tried, she couldn't pull the apple through the tiny hole. My little house is too small, said little mouse. Perhaps I should look for a bigger one. So off she went. Looking for a new house makes you hungry, said Little Mouse, as she took a few bites of the juicy apple. Then she spotted a hole that was a little bigger than hers. This looks just right, she said, as she peered inside. Hello, Mole, she said. I need a bigger house for me and my apple. Can I live here with you? <laughs> I'm sorry, mumbled Mole, but my home is too full of books and I didn't think there's room for both of us. Hmm, perhaps not, said Little Mouse. I'll keep looking. As she wandered, Little Mouse felt hungry. I'll just have a little nibble, she said to herself. Then she spotted a hole that was a little bigger than Mole's. That will be perfect, she said. She peered inside. Hello, Rabbit, she said. I'm looking for a bigger house for me and my apple. Can I live here with you? Mm, I'm sorry, twittered Rabbit, but my home is too full of cabbages and I don't think there's room for both of us. Mm, perhaps not, said Little Mouse. She set off again, but she was still hungry, so she nibbled on the apple as she went. Then she spotted another hole that was a little bigger than Rabbit's. That will be just right, she said. She peered inside. Hello, Badger, she said. I am looking for a bigger house for me and my apple. Can I come and live with you? I'm sorry barked Badger, <laughs> but I stretch out all day on my cushions, snoring a lot, and I don't think there's room for both of us. Hmm, perhaps not, said Little Mouse, feeling rather tired and still hungry. That evening she came across an enormous hole. This must be big enough for me and my apple, she thought. Hello, is anybody there? she shouted. Hello, little mouse, growled huge bear. Why don't you come and live here with me? <laughs> no, thank you, squeaked little mouse. I think the cave is a bit too small for you and me and my apple. And off she ran. Little mouse was tired now, but putting the apple seemed easier. Suddenly she saw a tiny hole. That looks perfect she squeaked. I wonder who lives here? She peered inside. There was no one at home. Little Mouse went right in and pulled her apple behind her. It fitted perfectly. I knew I would find somewhere just right for me and my apple, she said, and she climbed into her own bed and fell fast asleep. See? end. I hope you enjoyed listening to that as much as I enjoyed reading it boys and girls. I was thinking that Little Mouse was using her diamond power very strongly in that story. She didn't give up when she couldn't find somewhere to sleep. Even though she was really tired and really hungry she kept on going until she found just the right place for her. Well that's it for today. You'll see me again boys and girls. Bye bye.